please remain standing until you take the oath and then you may be seated. Whereupon, Irene Dorsey, having been duly sworn, testified as follows. Please state your full name and correct spelling for the record. Irene Dorsey. Mr. Dorsey, you might want to pull that microphone closer or sit closer up so we can all hear you. There we go. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Will you please tell us your name again, please? Irene Dorsey. Can you maybe get a little closer to the mic? All right. All right. I'm sorry. Again, your name, please? Irene Dorsey. Please spell it for us. I-R-I-A-N-D-O-R-S-E-Y. Mr. Dorsey, how old are you? 31. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Where you are from? I grew up in this city and on the West Bank. How about your educational background, your schooling? High school. Did you graduate? Yes. When did you graduate? 2005. So you said you grew up in Mid-City, correct? Yes. I see you're here in an orange jumpsuit. You're incarcerated? Yes. Why are you in jail? For numerous, numerous violations. Okay. Have you pled guilty that caused you to be in jail today? Yes. Briefly, what is that? It depends on if you're talking about my state charges or federal charges. Let's talk about your federal charges. What have you pled guilty to? A firearm count, discharging a firearm, and two counts of murder. All right. Now, was that a trial or did you enter into a plea agreement? Entered into a plea agreement. Have you been sentenced yet? No, sir. How much time are you facing? Life plus 10. Now, when you plead guilty, when you pled guilty, what was your understanding of your agreement with the government with respect to your plea? That, as far as what? Was there an agreement that you made with the government as far as your plea? Did you agree to cooperate? Yes. What does that mean? That if I give substantial assistance and I fulfill my terms of my plea agreement, that the government will consider giving me a 5K1. Okay. Now, has the government promised you what it would ask for you? No, sir. Did they promise they were going to file a motion for you? No, sir. They said they would consider. Are you expecting a lesser sentence? I hope so. Will you say anything from that witness stand to get a lesser sentence? No, sir. So, what's your understanding of the agreement? That I have to tell the truth. Okay. I'd like to show you what's been marked as Government's Exhibit 232A and ask if you recognize it. This is an exhibit that has, we have not stipulated in all the unobjected to exhibits, but is this an exhibit to which there is a pending objection, counsel? No, there is not, your honor. Okay, we can go ahead and use it. Okay, I would like to do that. Before we break for lunch, we'll go ahead and introduce all the exhibits to which there is no objection. Yes, your honor. Go ahead, you can broadcast it. Sure. I'd like to show you what's been admitted as Government's Exhibit 232A. If you all need to pull those, if you gently tug on the bottom of the screen, it will come up a little bit and it's easier to see. There you go, perfect. And then if you need to push it back down to get in and out, you can. Just give it a little tug on the bottom. Don't worry, you won't break it. Okay, good. Go ahead, Mr. Page. Let's put the exhibit up. You can either look at that screen or the big screen, either way. All right, do you see government's exhibit 232A, Mr. Dorsey? Yes. What is this? My plea agreement. All right, do you recognize your initials on this plea agreement? Yes. All right, now, was a part of this plea agreement also that the government wouldn't seek the death penalty against you? Yes. Okay. So this is the agreement that caused you to be here today, correct? Yes. All right. Now, you mentioned earlier you asked me whether or not I was talking about your state or federal conviction. Do you have any other convictions, state? Yes. Tell us about those with the earliest in time. My first one was for accessory to armed robbery. 
And what was your sentence on that? Four years home incarceration. All right. Any more felony convictions? I recently pled out to, I think it was flight from an officer, simple escape in Orleans Parish. Isn't that aggravated flight from an officer, aggravated escape and resisting arrest? Is that not correct? I don't think so. I think they amended it. Okay. But you pled guilty and did you agree to cooperate with the state in that case? Yes. What were the terms of that agreement? Well, the terms, there's really no terms. That agreement is that I have to fulfill my agreement over here and then deal with that. Okay, so you're saying the terms of your state flight conviction is that you have to also cooperate in this case, correct? Yes. All right, so you haven't been sentenced in that case? No. Do you know how much time you're facing? No, sir. Now, you've met, have you met with the government a number of times? Yes. And what were you told in those in those meetings? As far as what? What was your understanding with respect to how you should testify? Truthfully. All right. Now, also as a part of your state pleas and federal pleas, did you also agree to cooperate the conviction you just told us about, the state one? What parish was that in? Which one? The state one. Orleans. Orleans? Yeah. Okay, did you also agree to cooperate in another parish as well? Yes. Where was that? Jefferson Parish. Was it similar to the Orleans Agreement? You could say that. Is it any different? I don't remember exactly what is stated in there. I haven't read it in a long time. Okay, but to sum it up, you've agreed to cooperate with the government in three separate cases, right? Yes. Orleans, correct? Yes. Jefferson? Yes. And here federally, correct? Yes.